one CNC CAD CAM made easy. In this example, I'd like to share a shortcut that's going to save a lot of time when selecting wireframe geometry. This is going to come in handy when selecting wireframe geometry for applying toolpath or for selecting geometry for general CAD purposes. So let's take a look. Let's say I'd like to select this outer shape right here. I can do that by using our chain select tool. I'm going to left click, left click the direction, and if I hit the F3 key on the keyboard, one CNC will select the remaining geometry just by hitting F3. Let's do that again. I'm going to select by left clicking, left click the arrow, hit the F3 key, and one CNC selects the rest of the geometry. Now let me show you how to use that same shortcut when applying toolpath. All right, so let's head over here to the command manager, go into our stock toolpaths, and how about just a mill profile basic command? I'm going to left click that wireframe geometry, left click the direction, and again, I'm just going to hit the F3 key on the keyboard to select the rest of the geometry. At this point, we just need to ensure that the parameters for our toolpath are fine, click next and finish, and one CNC applies the toolpath. Let's do the same for the slotting operation. Let's select Cut Chain 2D, going to left click, left click the direction, and again, I'm going to hit the F3 key on the keyboard to select the rest of the geometry. And just like before, we just have to ensure all the parameters for our toolpath looks good and click the Finish button. Let's do that one more time. Cut Chain 2D, left click, left click the direction, and hit the F3 key on the keyboard to select the rest of the geometry. Let's ensure that our machining parameters are correct and click finish and that's it. So using the F3 key when selecting wireframe geometry is a great shortcut and will save a lot of time. One CNC CAD CAM made easy. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.